In this tutorial, I will show you how you can add closed caption to your YouTube videos. But then, let's talk about why you should add closed caption to your YouTube videos. Growing your channel organically depends on three things. First, to appear on search results. Two, click-through rate. And three, video engagement. To appear on search engine, you need to add closed caption to your YouTube videos. The importance of adding closed caption to your YouTube videos makes the keyword you mention in your video to be indexed, which will enable the search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo, etc. to view all the keywords you mention in your videos. When you upload or manually add closed caption, YouTube will index the closed captions and search engine will see all the mentioned keywords in your video, thus increase your keyword density and keyword diversity. Another importance of adding closed caption to your YouTube videos is that viewers with any difficulty will enjoy your video. Two, viewers at work or in such sensitive environment enjoy your video as well. And due to your accent, your viewers can read what you are saying on the screen. Therefore, your video rank higher for those particular keywords and reach a broader audience. Due to errors contained in auto-generated closed captions by YouTube, YouTube does not index it. Adding it manually is the solution, and that is what you will learn in this video. To add closed caption to your YouTube videos, Go to YouTube Studio and click on Subtitles. From the list of your videos, click on the video to add closed caption. Click on Add under Subtitles to add closed caption. Here we have four options to add closed caption. The first one is to upload an SRT file. The second one is auto synchronization, whereby you, as you are typing the text of your closed caption, YouTube will synchronize it with the audio. And the third option is to type it manually. And the last option is auto translate, which is not too good because of the error. When you click on type manually, it will take you to this screen here. This blue bar shows us the length of the text as you are typing it here. And the audio width will show you the sound of the text. So this will give you an idea of the length of the audio so that you can synchronize your text with it. So from here, as you can see, this text is longer than the audio width. So you move your mouse to the edge of the, um, the blue bar here to reduce the length of the text here so that it can synchronize with the audio width. So I'm going to play the video right here. Hello, everyone. Then I stop the video. So for the purpose of time, I've already typed out the text. So I'm going to copy it here and paste it on YouTube so that can make it the process fast. When you move your mouse on the text, you will see this plus down here. Click on the plus to add another caption line. Then I'm going to play the video here again. My name is Ajani Abdigeni. Now, as you can see from the bottom here, the text is not align, aligning with the audio. So I want to move this text here. I move it so that the text can appear when the audio is being played here. Then I copy the text from my notepad and then I'm going to paste it on the timeline here. So you can see the text is already synchronized with the audio wave here. My name is Ajani Abdigeni. On my YouTube. Now, the next text, I'm going to click on the plus to add another caption line. And then this will add a blue bar here. So I'm going to click and move the blue bar so that it can synchronize with the audio waves. So you move it with the four arrows there. Then go to the notepad and then copy the text. 
then come to YouTube and paste it. So I have to bring this slider back here so that it can stay here at the beginning of the next audio wave and then come here and click on add caption line to add the next text. So the blue bar is not synchronizing with the audio wave. I have to move it a bit. Then come to the notepad and copy the text. Then paste it on the caption line. For the purpose of time, I'm going to speed up the process of adding closed caption to this video. Now I've added the closed caption to this uh, video. So the next thing after I've done this is to come to the timeline to look at the text width and the audio width so you can make an adjustment where necessary. Click on the publish to publish the closed caption. Now this is how to add closed caption to your YouTube video. As you can see, the closed caption has already been added to this video. So thank you for watching. I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.